Today I'm going to talk about the resistance in the form of Ohm's law, and uh, we'll see some graphs as well. Right today, let's let's begin. So we have here Ohm's law, and what is Ohm's law? You should know that the current flowing in a metallic conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference applied across its ends, provided that the physical conditions such as temperature are kept constant. The current flowing in a metallic conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference applied across its ends. So this is the resistor that we have. We have the voltmeter here and we have here the current. So what's happening is that I is proportional to V when the temperature is kept constant. This is the Ohm's law that we have. Agar aap log aur kare, to hum likh sakte hai yaha pe, R is equal to V over I. Achha, is, is ke through dekhe, to I over V ke saath ek constant aata hai, wo hota hai conductance, wo aapke slavers mein nahi hai. Thik hai? Lekin V over I se ek cheez aata hai, jisko hum kehate hai resistance. So V is equal to I R. Here I is the current, and V is what? The potential difference, right? So, any other conductor other than the metallic conductor which obeys Ohm's law is described as Ohmic conductor. If a metallic conductor is not, then we call conductor which obeys Ohm's law. We call it Ohmic conductor. If I talk about the current voltage characteristics of various metals, I have IV here. This is I in amperes. This is V, the voltage. We get what we get a straight line like this. This is delta I, this is delta V. If you talk about the gradient, gradient here is delta I over delta V. But the resistance is R is equal to delta V over delta I. You know that very well. But you also know that, that delta I over delta V, अगर आप थोड़ा और करें तो डेल्टा आई और डेल्टा वी आपके पास ग्रेडिएंट है तो आप क्या इसको लिख सकते हैं इस तरह से अगर मैं इसको नीचे ले जाऊं और वी को इस तरफ ले जाऊं और आई को इस तरफ ले जाऊं तो कह रहा राइट हियर 1 ओवर ग्रेडिएंट इज इक्वल टू डेल्टा वी ओवर डेल्टा आई आई क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाइड व्हाट इज दिस दिस इज द रेजिस्टेंस सो द रेजिस्टेंस इज कैन बी फाउंड फ्रॉम दिस ग्राफ बाय टेकिंग द रेसिप्रोकल ऑफ द ग्रेडिएंट राइट दिस विल गिव यू द रेजिस्टेंस अगर आपके पास a graph hai is tarah se which is a vi graph this is v this is i and we have a graph we, we have a graph like this iska to direct aapko gradient kya dega resistance iska direct gradient aapko kya dega resistance so gradient is delta v over delta i and the gradient of VI graph gives the resistance. So R is equal to V over I. Uh, let us talk about filament lamp. What is a filament lamp? You should know that when we have I and V here. This is I in amperes. And this is V voltage that we have. And we get something like this. This is, look, this graph is like this. Straight ja ke, thoda sa bend V ki taraf. So, what's happening to the resistance? The resistance is increasing, right? It's bending towards the voltage axis. Although the gradient is decreasing, but the resistance is increasing because it's an IV graph. Look, if here is the gradient of 3, uh, this point, pe, steep. Here is the gradient 2. Hai. So, if I take the reciprocal, then this is 1 over 3 and this is 1 over 2. 1 over 2 is greater than 1 over 3. So, if I draw a graph like this, 1 over 2 is 0. 0.5, 1 over 3 is 0. 0.33. If I have VI, it's going to be like this. It's going to bend towards the voltage axis, right? So, for filament lamp, the graph will always bend towards the voltage axis. What's happening is, as the temperature increases, the electrons would would have more collisions 
with the lattice structure inside the metal filament and hence the resistance would increase. Is that clear? Let us talk about the semiconductor diode. What is a semiconductor diode? A semiconductor diode looks like this. You have something of this sort. So, so this is the P junction. This is the N junction. This is the positive terminal. This is the negative terminal, right? And the symbol for the diode, as I've already told you, is like this. Positive, negative, positive, negative. This is the symbol for the diode. What happens is the function of a semiconductor diode is that it converts AC to DC, right? AC voltages, AC currents could DC may convert kar deta, right? Matlab, iska matlab ye ke agar aapke is ka circuit hai, to ye AC hai, AC alternating current hai. Thik hai, voltage bhi ho sakti hai, current bhi ho sakti hai. To jab aap diode laga ke circuit mein, to ye kya banega, ye kya karega, ye sirf, sirf positive half cycles ko allow karega pass karne ke. Negative ko remove kar dega. We'll see that later on, this is known as half wave rectification. We'll see that. So, what is the function of the diode in a simple DC circuit? I can remember a DC circuit here like this. And I have a diode which is connected like this. And I have a bulb here. And let's say this is the negative, this is the positive terminal, this is the negative terminal. Yahan se current pass karega. Aur ye bulb on ho jayega. You should know that if the positive terminal of the battery is connected with the positive terminal of the diode, we call this forward bias situation. The diode is forward bias theory. So if the positive terminal of the diode is connected with the positive terminal of the battery, the current will flow and the bulb will flow. Agar mein diode ko ulta laga do. ठीक है तो क्या होगा ये, ये इस, इस सिचुएशन को हम कहते हैं फॉरवर्ड बायस और अगर मैं डायोड को उल्टा लगा दूं मतलब उसके टर्मिनल चेंज कर दूं देन आई हैव अ सिचुएशन लाइक दिस दिस इज पॉजिटिव दिस इज नेगेटिव दिस इज पॉजिटिव एंड व्हाट्स हैप व्हाट हैपेंस इज दैट द बल्ब विल नॉट ग्लो सिंस द डायोड इज इन रिवर्स बायस कंडीशन so ye glow nahi karega and the positive terminal of the battery is attached to the negative terminal of the diode right so this is what happens if i draw a graph of i and v this is i ampere and this is v voltage the graph is going to look like this theek hai ye shoot kar jayega this is the forward bias. This is the reverse bias, right? Here we have negligible current, which is flowing. If we draw a VI graph, can you tell me what sort of graph can it be? This is the way it is. This half cycle, mein negative half cycle, mein current is negligible. Hai. Now, we have to shoot it. Right? Like this. So, this graph is they are very very important let's talk about resistance and length we have here uh, for example a wire the length of the wire is l1 and r1 is the resistance of the wire there is a core wire which is length hai l2 or this is the resistance of wire 2 both wires have the same cross sectional area but different lengths. Experiments show that that resistance is directly proportional to the length. Jitni zada length zada badi hogi wire ki conductor ki utna zada resistance hogi. So what's happening is that R2 has a greater resistance compared to R1 because of its greater length. If you talk about 
एरिया की तो दिस इज वायर वन दिस एरिया इज ए वन दिस इज वायर वन एंड वी हैव वायर टू हेयर ऑफ एरिया ए टू आपको पता है कि जितना ज्यादा पाइप का एरिया ज्यादा होगा उतनी ज्यादा उसकी फ्लो होगा ज्यादा पानी का राइट तो किसका रेजिस्टेंस कम होगा वायर वन का कि वायर टू का किसका रेजिस्टेंस जिसका एरिया ज्यादा बड़ा है उसका रेजिस्टेंस कम होगा उसमें से ज्यादा इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ज्यादा पानी फ्लो कर सकता है अगर पानी होता तो सो यू शुड नो दैट रेजिस्टेंस इज इनवर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल टू द एरिया ऑफ क्रॉस सेक्शन वायर वन हैज अ स्मॉलर रेजिस्टेंस बिकॉज ऑफ इट्स ग्रेटर एरिया इफ वी मर्ज बोथ ऑफ दीज दिस वन एंड दिस वन we get a formula which is since resistance is directly proportional to the length and inversely proportional to the area we get what we get r is equal to a constant multiplied by length over area aise hi kyunki aap y is proportional to x so to aap likh sakte hain y is equal to kx to hum isko bhi is tarah se likh sakte hain and this forms R is equal to rho L over L. This is the formula that we have, where R is the resistance in ohms, A is the area in meter square, L is the length in meters. इसको हम resistivity वैसे कहते हैं, लेकिन हम इसको proportionality constant यहाँ पे कहेंगे. आप A level में पढ़ेंगे, it is resistivity. This is the proportionality constant. What are the units of rho? यूनिट्स क्या है और ए ओवर अगर एल आप कर दें ओहोम मीटर स्क्वायर ओवर मीटर वुड बी ओहोम मीटर और अगर आपके पास दो वायर्स है या इफ टू ऑब्जेक्ट्स आर मेड अप ऑफ सेम मटेरियल दे हैव द सेम प्रोपोर्शनलिटी कॉस्ट दैट इज रो इज इक्वल टू रो एंड आर वन ए वन ओवर एल is equal to r2 a2 over l2 